what the? He does flips and shit when he's shooting? Are you kidding me? It's like zero suit, but actually cool. He has Nero's snatch from DMC. Are you fucking kidding me? Is, it, is that is that Mementos is the stage? Is that P3 and P4 music on the stage? Sakurai, please retire. This is the first character. You are going to die. You are going to work yourself into a grave. Just stop. Guys. Guys? Guys, he's here. He's finally here. And they were right. We'll never see it coming. The initial reveal of Joker at the Game Awards right before the game releases? Didn't see it coming. The gameplay trailer drop comboed into next day release? Didn't see it coming. Nintendo scheduling server maintenance the same time as Joker's release? There was not a damn person who saw that coming. Not even Nintendo. We never saw any of this coming. It just kept sneaking up on us and it was awesome. We weren't spoiled on his moveset and everything that came with him and then forced to wait for months for him to be out. The gratification was near instant and it felt special. This is the first time something like this has happened and it's great for the game. Oh my goodness. When my internet was cut out by construction workers delaying my video for a few days, I definitely didn't see that coming. Thanks dickheads. This was going to be the easiest character for Nintendo to incorporate. Persona is a series full of style and pizzazz, and Persona 5 is the most stylish game in the series and possibly the world. All they had to do was copy that style and paste it in the game. Throw in a few tracks we like, a level, call it a day. People would have eaten that shit up. It would have been the easiest slam dunk for Nintendo ever. But then they decided to dunk the ball so hard that it broke the fucking rim! 11 godlike tracks, a stage that changes based on those godlike tracks. Me costumes getting the other pro tags in there. The supporting cast of P5 is just chilling out on the stage. Joker is the coolest victory screen known to man. There is so much style and fanfare, all topped off with this wonderful anime boy and his dynamic, weird design choices that are fixed versions of past broken characters. Joker is a strange character. He really is. He's an amalgamation of a bunch of different characters in this game, which kind of makes sense. The main character in Persona games gets multiple personas and is usually the jack of all trades. He heals, he tanks, he inflicts statuses, he does melee, magic, DPS, he does it all. So it kind of makes sense that he does how he does in the game and that he steals other people's moves. <laughs> Get it? Because he's a thief? Guess I'm a real joker. <laughs> joker. Joker. This boy got Sheik's up air, Zero Suit's fair, Lucina's bear, Me Swordsman's nair, Little Mac's forward tilt, Mega Man's down tilt, an edgy protagonist color scheme, a tether recovery, an obnoxious projectile, and a gun. The guns don't do that much damage, they're kind of, meh, whatever. They got cool yeah. tricks, but the absolute best part is just that it's called GUN. That's so good. And it works exactly how it does in the game. You go, bah, 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 bah. hold up. Hey, old girl, you want to go on a date? Uh, I don't know, I'm like two years old. And then you go, that's the best part. Ah. I've played a lot of Persona. I can tell you 100% this is exactly how it goes. Oh, hi, Futaba. Oh, hello, the police. Damn it, why does this always happen? Well, since we're on the subject, let's talk about the most important thing in Persona. The waifus. I'ma keep this short and concise. Makoto. Good character design. Best thief outfit. Worst girl. <coughs> Futaba. Good character design. Worst thief outfit. Best girl. Got it? Good. Joker has Cloud's limit gauge for his persona, but instead of being a limp dick pussy, like Smash 4 Cloud who would go hide and charge limit, Joker has to take some hits with his Incineroar S counter, which is so cool by the way guys, I absolutely love this. Cause not only does it make you have to play a more aggressive read based style of play, but it's also a way cooler reward for getting the read than normal counters, where it's just Throw out counter with large active frames and low ending lag. If it goes off, they die around 80. Blech. 
Once that meter's full, bam, it's time to pop your DT, summon your stand, it's go time, baby. All your moves have more knockback and damage, your recovery is around inkling tier, your guns have significant knockback now, your projectile becomes PK cancer, and you get a regular ca- Fuck. Joker is a completely different character with Arson. Without him, Joker? Joker's kind of bad. He's basically chic. You're fast and do decent combos, but your moves hit for like no damage. Your projectiles are mostly there for chipping away at people, and you have a hard time killing. Arson adds in Ganondorf's stomp and turns your fair into his nair, and it does so much damage and everything kills now. Everything kills, even his down tilt kills for some reason. Jesus Christ. You know how I know this is a good character? Because his Kirby form is good. Look at that. That's a good Kirby form, which means that's a good character. This is scientific fact, by the way. It is a proven study. Inkling Kirby is good. Inkling is a good character. Kerbamar is good. Olimar is a good character. Pichurby is good. Pichu is a good character. Pika Kirby is good. Pikachu. Like, it's just science. Don't look at those. I just love them. And I love that I finally found a character from a series that I like, and that I really like how he feels, and it feels like he was made just for me. You know what I'm saying, Joker? You get me, Joker, right? Yeah, you get it, right, Joker? And Joker? And Joker? And Joker? And Joker? <sighs> oh well, this is always gonna happen with the new DLC character. Everyone's gonna play him. Which is fine. Let everyone enjoy this wonderful boy. Plus, I know how to destroy these kids trying to play my fucking character. I will never stop cucking these fools. Come get me, Phantom Thieves, if you can. You know what? Here's the best part about Joker being in Smash. And this is something that I haven't seen since the days of Melee with Marth and Roy. It's getting people to play their games. It's kind of a weird thing to talk about in today's age. What, with a legion of commercially successful games and a soul-sucking gotcha phone game? But there was a time when no one in America really knew about the Fire Emblem series. They were all Japanese exclusives. But then they dropped the blue and red-haired sword boys into this series, which was known for, of the time, to be exclusively Nintendo franchises. This sparked Western interest in the series and eventually led to worldwide releases of future titles. Now, it's one of my top 5 game franchises, and the same is happening here with Persona. Yes, the game is out everywhere, and yeah, the series is pretty popular, but it is a PlayStation exclusive and it's not as popular as I feel it should be. Persona 5 is one of the best games ever made. I think everyone should play it, and people are starting to. A bunch of streamers from the Smash community have just started going ham on that game because they're like, oh shit, who's this sick character who looks like Bayonetta's son and carries around a boombox of the dopest tracks in the universe? Who's that guy about? It's sparking interest again, and through the streaming platform, it's growing bigger and bigger, which is something special of the time that we can just appreciate. It's this weird internet family thing that's bringing people together to play an amazing game. And speaking of playing an amazing game, Nintendo, put Persona 5 on the Switch. Do it. Do it, you cowards. Nintendo Smash nerds are also huge weeb weebs. We've been scrounging for a JRPG to scratch that itch. Xenoblade 2 is in the top 15 games sold on your console, and that game sucks dick compared to P5. You put the Final Fantasy 7 remake on the Switch, that game sucks dick compared to P5. Do it, please! The Persona R announcement thing event is right around the corner. It would be so awesome. Come on, let's do it! Oh shit, it would be so Oh good. Oh my god, they never see it coming. Come on. Do the meme. Oh, storybook ending, open and end on the joke. Never see it coming!